guys and welcome back to another video on my channel and today this is going to be the top 5 CPU slash processors under $100 so thank you Wii MC for your suggestion and I'm sorry for actually pronouncing your name wrong uh, but I think that's how you do it uh, say it so yeah we're all good so getting into the first CPU here we have the AMD FX 8350 and the AMD FX 8350 ranges at around $149.99 and is an 8 core processor clocked at around 4 gigahertz so this processor you can actually overclock it to at least like 4.6 gigahertz uh, or more but you're probably gonna need like a better CPU cooling solution because this thing is super hot fire, as you can see, because it takes around like, uh, it consumes around like 125 watts, which is like just, whoa, just too much fire up in here. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so for $149 though and 99 cents, you're getting a CPU that could probably play like all games that are, or most games that are around like 1080p max settings with like a de decent graphics card, like a R9 280 or 380 or like a GTX 960 or 950. Uh, so yeah, so moving on to the next CPU here, we have the Intel Core i3-6100. And so this CPU cost around $110.99. And so this processor here is actually one of the new Skylake processors, well not really new, but it's still a Skylake processor. It's a dual core processor clocked at around 3.7 gigahertz, but people actually have overclocked this CPU and it's not even a uh, like a, K CPU, it's a non K CPU, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, so, anyways, so this CPU here is super affordable and actually, like, it's a super awesome CPU for the price. And it only takes around four, it only consumes around like 47 watts, which is actually like that's barely anything. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. But so this CPU actually can play like many games in 1080p with like maybe like a like say like with uh, like a GTX 960, 950, R9 uh, 280 or like a 380. This CPU can play like basically any game at 1080p. Not any game, basically most games at 1080p with at max settings though because um, the thing is though this CPU is only a dual core processor which is the basically the downfall to the CPU because uh, say the games like say the games that need to that require more uh, like uh, like at least like a quad core processor or not really quad core but just more processors in general um, this is only a dual core so it really it won't really play those games like too great but they it maybe still will play those games fine but uh, this CPU and actually the 8350 are super similar in performance but the i3-6100 in my opinion um this is just my opinion just calm down people it performs actually better than the 8350 except for the games that require more cores the 8350 will beat the i3 but for the price of this so basically it's like a 40 dollar or a little bit less price point I'd recommend getting the i3 6100 over the 8350, but I'm not saying the 8350 is a bad CPU. They're both pretty awesome CPUs for the price. So yeah, so moving on to the next one here, we have the AMD A10 7850K. And I actually put this processor in here because it's a super awesome processor for the price, like if you're not actually gonna use a GPU, but you could also use a GPU on, uh, for, oh my gosh. You could also use a GPU using this CPU though, but it's kind of a, like a waste of money because the basically the graphics in the CPU are gonna be kind of useless. Um, but also, I forgot to say that the i3-6100 actually has integrated graphics, so if you're not using it with a GPU, it's, it'll be perfectly fine. And the AMD FX does not have integrated graphics, so yeah. So anyways, so this has basically actually, basically actually, good grammar. It has a Radeon R7, that's the, basically the integrated graphics, but the CPU, can basically handle games like Minecraft super easily. Cisco, it could probably play that too, but like not maybe like the high settings possible, but it guaranteed play medium settings. I know that for sure. Minecraft, it could guaranteed play that. It'll play those, like those type of games. Not really like, it'll play like Battlefield 4 or like Crisis 3, um, but maybe it might play like at the lowest settings. Not for Crisis, I don't really know, but maybe for Battlefield uh, 4, sorry. Um, It'll probably play like at the lowest settings, I think. I'm not really too sure. I'm kind of dumb. Uh, but so this CPU actually has four cores. It takes around 95. It consumes around. I don't know why I keep saying takes. It consumes around 95 watts. And um, as you can see, it also 
3.7 gigahertz, but it has a max turbo frequency of 4, giga 4 gigahertz, which is pretty awesome. So for the price, though, I'd actually recommend getting this if you're not really using it, uh, if you're not really using a GPU, because then you'll get some, like, you'll get some pretty good gaming going for a cheap price. So, yeah, so moving on to the next one here, we have the AMD FX 6300 6-core processor clocked at around 3.5 gigahertz and you could also overclock this cpu too you're just gonna need a better cooling solution so this comes at around 94 dollars and 99 cents and so this is a six core processor but like games don't actually really take like eight core processors but they're starting to take like more cores now well some games but some aren't uh but as you can see it has 3.5 gigahertz and i think i already said that but yeah so it in it includes a CPU cooler, and so it the it takes about or consumes about 95 watts. And so this CPU here, it can actually play most games too. Like it's actually a pretty strong CPU for the price of only 95 dollars and 99 or 94 dollars and 99 cents. Like say if you have like a, a what's it called like a just a decent GPU, you could probably play games fine with this. It is a six core processor. Like you can play like CS:GO, Minecraft. Like you can play basically most games with this using a pretty good graphics card. Well, most games. I'm not sure. Well, it could probably play Crisis, but like at like low settings, not really too high. But yeah, so this can play probably most games in 1080p though, which is pretty awesome. So moving on to the next one here. So actually, as you can see here, I actually have six. Uh, CPUs here, but I'm gonna be hooking these up kind of together because they're pretty similar like in performance and just Price in general, so I'm probably just gonna put those together But so right here we have the Intel Pentium G3258. So this is a dual core processor so uh, The games that don't really require like more processors require more pro yeah require more processors it's not really gonna play this the best but it could still probably play it with like um it doesn't there actually is a software to actually help the dual core processors like play the four co not four core but like the uh games that require more cores like it'll play it better uh so yeah so this is coming at around 65 dollars and 88 cents and so this is a dual core clocked at around 3.2 gigahertz and this is a beast of an overclocker guys this thing overclocks massively but uh so just throw away the sock cooler or give it away or something and then get a better cooler and then you'll get some pretty awesome um gameplay going so this comes out around 53 watts consumes i'm so dumb i'm sorry um and there actually are a couple combo deals so you're saving money as you can see there's a bunch of combo deals you're saving a ton of money so yeah so anyways uh this is like look at this this guy's literally like the best 62 dollars 62 it's 65 you're wrong i'm just kidding uh, but yeah, so this is a pretty awesome CPU, and if you pair it up with, like, an R9-280X, this guy actually did your good job, and just overclock it, you're getting, like, a beast of gameplay, beast of gameplay, okay, but you're probably gonna be playing most games in all 1080p, like, all these can probably play games, like, most games in 1080p, except for this one, well, it could play, but low settings 1080p, like, max settings, though, but I'm talking about max settings for most of these. Well, not really max, but just high settings. Just ignore my stupidity. Uh, so, yeah. So, moving on to the next one here. So, this is just basically, these are similar. Look, they even have the same combo deals. That's how similar they are. But, taking a look here. So, this processor is actually a little bit more expensive than the Pentium G3258. But, these two are super similar. So, first of all, this is, you can overclock the CPU too. It doesn't really matter about... Uh, it doesn't really like say if this is 3.7 this is 3.2 it doesn't mean 3.7 is just that means this cpu is just better than this like these CPU, cpus are super similar in price and performance so that's why i'm just gonna combine them together and make it top five uh so this is coming at around 69 dollars and 99 cents and so this is a four core processor clocked at around 3.7 but as you can tell you can overclock both of them and so you basically you just need to um like this basically consumes a lot more wattage than this one i mean 95 and this is 53 there's a big difference there and so you're getting like like four cores so like in my opinion these two processors are just absolutely even like so i think that the amd athlon x4 860k might perform a little bit better because of the quad cores um but like because of the quad cores because it's a quad core like it'll perform better in the games that require more cores but i think they'll play pretty evenly but the thing is that you don't really get any upgradability using the amd athlon x4 860k 
but the Intel Pentium and in, in Intel, I think I just said Intel. The Intel Pentium G3258, you have a lot more upgradeability compared to the 860K because you can upgrade to like an i5, an i3. No, well, not really. I wouldn't really recommend upgrading from an i3 to a uh, Pentium or a Pentium to an i3. Recommend just getting straight up to the i5 level, like the i5 46. 90 area 90k whatever i have that but it's, it's a super awesome processor or maybe if you want to even upgrade to an i7 you know i don't really know but overall these two are just super similar in price and performance i said that like three times so yeah so that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys all enjoyed and by the way this comes with uh no integrated graphics no integrate no into oh no oh sorry i'm really dumb intel hd graphics no no Yes, no, I meant yes here. If there wasn't integrated graphics, then this thing would just be too overpriced. But yeah, so that will conclude this video. The thing, the processor that I'd recommend the most for like the most price for performance, I'd recommend either the Intel Pentium G3258 or the AMD Athlon. But the more like not really expensive, well, kind of just like a $40 price jump. I'd recommend the i3-6100 because this is an absolute beast of a processor for the price. Uh, for only $110, you're going to get like 1080p, 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 you know what I mean? But if you want the more expensive one, I'd recommend the 8350 because this is just a tad bit better in just games that require more cords. But uh, this one's actually better in games just, just, yeah that makes sense so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy it. and i actually do have two things to say before this video does end though so the first thing is is that as you can see right here i have a bunch like literally a bunch of cpu parts cpu cpu parts uh computer parts but i'm actually missing the case i was gonna get this thermal tape case for 40 dollars uh for 20 dollars uh but the guy actually sold it oh not really i think he sold it he didn't email me i'm actually gonna check he said that someone offered him $40, uh, so he just like, nope, I'm not going to accept your offer. So you know what? Get out of here. Yeah, that makes so much sense. But yeah, that's what he said. Did he mess? Did he email me back? He didn't email me back. Okay, then. Well, I'll just probably email him and just ask if he sold it or not. Um, but yeah, thanks. Wait, good luck with it. Oh, yeah. So anyways, this guy here. He tweeted me. You guys cannot see anything. He tweeted me. We. Oui. He tweeted me. This is the guy that actually suggested the video. Uh, so, yeah. So, anyways. Oh, no. I have one more thing to say. Also, so I actually did went to, I went to Nanaimo uh, from Thursday to Saturday. And I recorded most of it. And so, comment down below if you guys actually do want to see that vlog. I don't really want to edit it. But if you guys do want to see it, then you guys can see it and i will edit it so yeah so just comment down below if you guys do want me to actually upload the nanaimo vlog um it's kind of like a three-day vlog but it's all gonna be paired up in one it's probably gonna be like a 15 minute video it's pretty short because every like i don't know i just only recorded like every one mi like one minute every video like doop 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 not like every one minute i recorded like uh one every like like every video that i recorded they're all like a minute long so but i'm gonna be cutting out a lot of it so yeah so thank you guys so much for watching once again so comment down below if you guys do want to see that and comment down below if you have a freaking pc case because i need to buy one so i can start building this thing it's literally been sitting there and i put on the cpu cooler and it's not working so i have to fix that again uh so yeah so that will conclude this video and i'll see y'all in the next one and yeah goodbye Aerial error. Gosh, you're in my ears. Hello, hello. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the testing, the, t t the, the testing uh, with the deep fried fried rice and the uh, chicken chow mein with the, uh, the, the, the side of soy sauce. Oh my gosh, my Asian accent is absolutely terrible. Um, <coughs> Ow. That really hurt. Jing 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 with the with the wing 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 and the jing 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 and the sing 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 and the ding ding ding. Okay. Oh my gosh. Uh, hello everyone. And today this is gonna be the uh the 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 the, the top processor under the the twenty five dollars. So uh uh starting off this list we got the QQ sixty six hundred 
and da 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 and da da da.